The Al-Furqan schools in Wajia town are celebrating 19 years in academic excellence. It opened its gates for the primary academic calendar in 2009 and the secondary wing in 2014. Before the start of the institutions, first was a home for orphans, which was started in 1993. The founder and the manager of the al Furqan schools and Waji Islamic Children Home, Sheikh Abdullah Al-Amiri, confirmed to us that between 1993 to 2008, the orphans used to study outside the orphanage home. Then in 2009, the Sheikh Abdullah Al-Amiri decided to launch the primary wing, Furqan Integrated Academy as an income generating source for the orphans. The prestigious school located along Mandera Road uh, have become a household name in Wajia County Schools. Uh, from 2017 to 2020, they produced the best top Kenyan certificate of primary education, KCP student. Uh, however, in 2021, they were number two. The well-trained teachers that offer quality education, the three modern school buses that pick students on time to and from the school, a computer training lab that exposes a student to the skills on the ICT innovation, as well as the modern classes that also motivate learners. The schools have a standard administration block and a dormitory for the use by the orphans. The institutions has had working supporting staff who run the day-to-day -day activities of the school, a modern newly constructed mosque that make learners perform daily prayers and a clean water for the student to ensure safety of their health. Mr. Enoch Musindi, the principal of the primary wing, speaking to RF Media Group, give an intensive report on the development aspect of the school. I'm Enoch Musindi, the teacher for Khan Primary, that's the academy. The school was started in 2009, that is uh, as an income generating activity. For the orphans. It was majorly started to help the orphans who had no place to stay. Uh, when it started, it had a population of 362 learners. Those were the orphans who were living at school. Later on grew until today, where we are able to have more than 800 learners. The school did its first KCP in 2013. That's where we were able to acquire a mini grade of 312, but it has improved until today. When we last did our KCP, that's 2021, and the school performed marvelously. It had a mean of 76 in maths. We were able to acquire a mean of 66 in English, 69 in Kiswahili. We got 81 in maths. Then we were able to acquire 81 as well in social studies. So it brings us to a mean of 379, which was very remarkable. The secondary school wing, named for Khan Integrated Institution, was started in 2014. The secondary school hosts both girls and boys, and in 2021, the mean grade of the school was 7.33, equivalent to a strong C+. <laughs> The well-equipped laboratory prepares the student on science subject, uh, which is a clear indication the school is training its learners uh, to equip them on innovation, science, and technology. The students doing practicals in the laboratory have all the necessary lab materials uh, and helped by the lab technicians. Uh, Mr. Abdikarim Hassan Dembil is the principal of the secondary wing uh, and briefed us on the state of the school since its inception in 2014. My name is Abdikarim Hassan Dimbil, the principal for Khan Integrated Secondary School. Uh, first and foremost, I'm privileged and honored to host this program today. Uh, to start with, uh, this school, uh, in terms of history, was first started in the year 2014. It with an uh, a number of 43, I think, students, 43 students uh, by that time. 
to speak about the enrollment of the school, uh, the school currently uh, brags about 345 students. We did our first KCSE as a school in the year 2017, where the best candidate uh, registered a, a, a mean grade of C. Well, it was not uh, bad for a start, but uh, we kept on pushing. Uh, and uh, this being the sixth year we are registering candidates, the school uh, currently, the mean score of the school currently stands at 7.33, which is a C plus. Uh, you can imagine we started with a, a mean of 4.05, which is a D plus, to currently, uh, which is a 7.33 C plus. Sheikh Abdullah Al Amiri is the manager and the founder of the institutions. He is the brain behind an institution established 29 years ago as an orphanage home. In one on one interview with ARF Media Group, Sheikh appealed to the well wishes who include and not limited to the donors, non governmental organizations, national and county government to help the orphans to meet their dreams of better education, a good medical cover, and a feeding program he further confirmed their 170 orphans as per 2022 data. Anasmi Abdullah ibn Yusuf al Amiri, Muassisu wa Mushrif al Am, Lihad al Merkaz, in Kabli Tisawa Shina Sana. Fa Ussis had al Merkaz, Senator Tharatha wa Tisain, Miradia, Kamarkaz Aitam. وعدد الأيتام الذي كانوا موجودين ذاك الوقت هم 150 يتيما فكانوا يخرجون تلك الأيام حتى سنة 2008 صباح كل يوم إلى الخارج فيدرسون من الدرس الحكومية فلما وصلنا سنة 2009 أسست مركز ابتدائي روضة وابتدائية فهذا المركز هو مركز للأيتام وكذلك عندما وصلنا سنة 2014 بدأنا مدرسة ثانوية وإلى يومنا هذا المركز مستمر بمراحله الثلاثة الروضة والابتدائية والثانوية حوالي 14 سنة في داخل هذا المركز والقصد من ابتداء هذا المركز ابتداء هذا المركز او تاسيس هذه المدرسه اقصد هو ان يكون ريع هذه المدرسه يرجع الى الايتام كعباره عن كفاره الايتام فبعدما قل او فقد من يكفر الايتام من الهيئات والمحسنين في الخارج فكرت أن يكون هذا المركز هي مدرسة خاصة بالاسم لكنها عامة تخدم للأيتام فالمدرسة فالمركز مركز للأيتام خاص وهو وقف على الأيتام فكل ما يخرج من هذا المركز كل ما يأتي ريع هذا المركز يرجع إلى الأيتام ورسالتنا آه إلى كل من يريد الخير من المحسنين والهيئات الإنسانية في العالم أن يقفوا معنا في مساعدة الأيتام والمحتاجين الذين لا يجدون من يقف معهم بتعليمهم بمراحلهم الثلاثة حتى يكونوا عضوا نافعا في المجتمع بإذن الله تعالى في هذا المجتمع الفقير وجزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم